this demonstration we're going to have a look at how we configure the Exchange Service settings for Exchange Active Sync and then how we configure a mobile device for Exchange Active Sync. So what we're going to do just for purposes of this demo is we're just going to set up our IIS server to disable SSL. Obviously out in the real world you wouldn't be doing this, but what we have, Microsoft Exchange Active Sync, SSL settings, and we're just going to turn off the tick box. Click apply. That's now done. So we can now close down IIS. Next thing we're going to do is just set up Exchange Active Sync. So onto our Exchange Management, into Exchange Active Sync, and then have a look at the settings on Active Sync Virtual Directory. So right click, just have a look at the properties within here. So on the general page, again, we've got our internal URL, our external URL. Authentication tab, we're using basic authentication. Uh, we have turned off SSL. And the remote file servers are just really, again, where we're getting the attachments from. So now that we've done all of that, we can click OK. And the next thing we need to do, as we can see, all of this was turned on by default. We can now come on to our Windows mobile device and configure it in order to synchronize settings from the Exchange server. Okay, next thing to set up is our Outlook Windows mobile device. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click on the Start button, click on Programs, into Exchange Active Sync. Next thing we're going to do here is set up your device to sync with it. And then on the email address, we're going to use Scott as our test user. So that's Scott. McDonald at a datum dot com click next and because we've got auto discover set up should pick up the username ok next thing we need to do just put in the password and the domain at this point here is a datum Once we've done all of that, we will save the password, save Scott having to keep putting it in again. Let's click Next. Next thing we need to put in here is just put in the name of the server. And what we'll do is turn off the tick box because we did disable SSL on the IIS server. So once we've done all of that, click Next. Choose the date that we want to syn synchronize across here. So what we'll do is we'll just go for our calendar. Click on the settings. Now what we're concerned about here is synchronizing everything. Click OK there. And the other thing we're going to do as well is we'll just go for the email. Click the settings. And what we'll do here is we'll synchronize everything. So message format, we'll stick with the HTML. Download size, yep, we'll stick with everything within there, and we will include file attachments as well. Won't specify any sizes within here, and then we'll click OK. Specified everything else that we need to do, so we'll click the Finish button, and then we'll leave that to sync. Uh, Synchronizations come through, as we can see, Outlook email, one on red, synchronizations now occurred, active sync is set up. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks for watching.